Hello, Vir <coughs> Hello, my voice went then. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So I hope you're well, Virgo. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. That just literally fell out. So let's go with it. Oh, wow. Conversations, communications, shifts, movements, travel. Very nice energy. The Eight of Wands. Okay. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Patience. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. What do we have for the week? <laughs> I love this. We have yes. That is such a beautiful energy. It's an affirmation from the universe, what you've been asking for, hoping for, praying for. The message is yes this week. Um... You might also be saying yes to somebody or somebody might be saying yes to you. I love that energy, Virgo. Very nice energy indeed. Okay, so let's pull your tarot cards. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Virgo. It will be 22nd to the 28th of February, 2021, please. For our lovely Virgos, thank you. What do we have for Virgo Angel Spirits Guides? What does Virgo need to hear the most? Okay, so we have Temperance, which is also a card of patience. The, st <laughs> the star, very nice energy, Virgo. Love the star energy. We have the Two of Swords. Okay. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guide. What is the message that Virgo needs to hear? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Virgo? Message for Virgo. Thank you. The moon, the star we have with the devil, interesting combination. We have the two of swords with the page of swords and the eight of cups. So let's clarify what this Eight of Wands is for. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands, please, for Virgo. What is it to do with? Angels, Spirits, Guides, the Eight of Wands. What is it to do with? Oh, okay. I have a few cards. This, there is way too many there, Virgo. I'm just going to reshuffle. The Ten of Swords was there, which can be something. Oh, I've got the Devil again. Something that has caused you emotional pain, um, hurt, loss. But it's over when the Ten of Swords appears. It is about to be over. Yeah, so we have the Hanging Man. And it's going to be over because I've got the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, so I'm going to put the Death card down as well. You are being told to be patient, but there is definitely an affirmation of yes, the yes is coming. Um, so lovely energy, beautiful energy. Yeah, we have, I mean, there are a lot of cards in this, in this reading that are, are talking about patience, which is not always easy to hear when we want something to happen. Um, 
it feels I'm definitely getting this energy Virgo I mean if some of you are waiting for feedback I mean that the eight of wands can be opportunity or conversations or communication for me it sometimes can be distance communication or online uh, I mean it can also be obviously in person as well but the hanging man is saying something hasn't quite played out yet there's still divine orchestration going on things being set up behind the scenes that you're not aware of you're being given hidden blessings so the messages the news the feedback the information the opportunity call it what you will is coming the shift is coming could be linked with travel sometimes as well um, but there is an element of patience things just haven't it's almost kind of like the ducks aren't always completely in a row you know um, things just need to play out a little bit longer but there's definitely an energy of is something coming will I get feedback will the feedback be positive I mean this is positive feedback communication conversation so I definitely feel there's a positive energy to this so patience the answer is yes The temperance card again is a card of the challenge is patience oh my goodness you know patience waiting for something it feels like you're treading water and there's a lack of clarity you know the moon is definitely i really don't know how something's going to pan out i have no idea what the feedback is going to be um what the opportunity is going to be you know it feels for some of you there's just a lack of clarity and the message is patience because the moon is no you need to just go within this is a sur this is a surrender card surrender trust the universe because it is a card of hidden blessings things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of but it will become clear so it is a lovely energy of yeah just be patient you will find a way through this sometimes it can be the temperance energy when things have been out of balance so for some of you there may have been something that has caused you imbalance in your life you know um and there's just you might have some confusion or lack of clarity in how things are going to pan out right now which is fine um the message is trust trust there are hidden blessings so that is a big message of the reading we have the the devil and the star devil is a card of capricorn the star is a card of aquarius so there's definitely an energy of you will liberate from the situation that you feel powerless within there can be an element of time on this wanting to break free of, of old cycles or wanting to break free of of the boundaries that you find yourself in with the hanged man and move towards the new world energy which is the star so i definitely feel for some of you that there is there will be an opportunity i mean the star is hope there is hope even when the shadow side can take over the negativity can take over the feeling of powerlessness can take over with the devil the message with the star is you will liberate from this devil energy because you're being given blessings by the universe divine orchestration things going on behind the, behind the scenes that you're not fully aware of yet but you will become aware of you know it's a card it is a card of, of enlightenment in some ways Aquarian energy because it is things the vision will become clear what you've been working towards Virgo there's definitely an energy of you're on the right path the path that you're on is blessed so I definitely get this energy of this is a card also of believe in miracles you are going to receive blessings divine wish fulfillment uh, there will be a new sense of renewal and hope new growth even but so don't let the shadow side take over I mean you know the devil can be a person in your life can be sometimes unhealthy a relationship with a person in whatever context uh you can see the powerlessness you know these chains are loose around the the the, the, the lovers necks you know they could easily lift the chains off and walk away but they feel that things are beyond their control and feel powerless in a situation so you can understand that this is a message of the devil being an illusion 
you know the negative negativity is an illusionary energy really we only give power to an illusion you know nobody can take our power it's something that we freely give our power to so the message is just if you're dealing with something that has caused you instability i'm definitely getting some kind of instability here there is new hope the vision will become clear the, what have you been working towards you are absolutely on the right path even though you don't have clarity in where this is going to go right now you're going to get the blessing so just keep on going you will break free of this devil energy let's clarify this devil it can be codependency addiction as an, an addiction as well um cards for the devil let's go with this one yeah burdens again saturnian energy the the ten of wands i'm struggling breaking free i'm struggling releasing the burdens but you will spirit is saying you will overcome this whatever obstacle challenge boundary something that feels bigger than you are you will by your own efforts pull your life back into balance and claim victory the breakthrough is coming so the message is keep going persevere stay determined eyes on the prize the victory is coming and it's coming in the in the form of a blessing hope dream wish fulfillment so lovely energy there again two of swords Virgo is it can be sometimes linked with difficult decisions the two of swords so for some of you it might well be that again there may well be something that you're weighing up or some decision that you want to make. Um, it can also be a card of being stuck, lack of clarity. And again, I'm getting this energy. I'm getting this energy, Virgo. The clarity will become clear. The Page of Swords. This can be a message of truth, news, learning something, some information, getting clarity in your own mind in terms of how you want to move forward. This is the dominant energy, so it feels there's still clarity, there's still lack of clarity in getting to this point. And it's to do with walking away. Um, moving on to better things you know the eight of cups can be moving on from disappointment that could be in relationships that could be to do with um like i said i mean the devil can be addiction or codependent relationships or workplace situations you know moving on to something better is the eight of cups because they walk away from disappointment they walk away from things that have run the course and now you're ready to move on so there's definitely an energy of maybe it just feels that there's a lack of clarity right now but the clarity is going to come the victory is going to come uh and it's resulting in some kind of powerful change and ending so the the death card is out with the old in with the new so it feels that that's coming your way there will be an opportunity for the new to unfold and the old will be released, purged, cleansed. Uh, the, the death card is the Phoenix Rising card. It's a card of shedding old skin for me as a reader. Uh, the Phoenix actively rises by destroying that which doesn't serve it anymore. It destroys the old in order to reveal the new, in order to embrace the new. So there's definitely an energy of you will rise like the phoenix, the conversations, the communication, the change, the shift is coming your way. There is some patience, something hasn't played out here, but there's definitely an energy of the answer will be yes, the message will be yes, what you've hoped for, prayed for, dreamed for, you know, you will find the way to take action, persevere, overcome any obstacle or challenge you face and claim some kind of breakthrough and victory so it's a lovely lovely energy it's coming but there is a level of patience and that's what spirit is saying this week to you um so it's a lovely message virgo let's see if there's any other advice any other advice for virgo please angels spirits guides 
any other advice for Virgo. There's definitely an energy if you are on the right path. And this path leads to victory and success. And you're being blessed. Hidden blessings. Things happen when they're meant to happen. Yeah. So Virgo, the Queen of Pentacles can be a card of Capricorn. Um, for some of you, this can also be you, by the way. But for some of you, there could be a powerful woman of influence this week. It could be a friend, a mother, um, somebody in business who's offering you something, offering you opportunity. So it could be this is the person that you're having the conversations with that is bringing the shift, the change, you know, that kind of energy. The Queen of Pentacles is a patient energy. So she patiently works methodically towards bringing abundance and success into her life. So that feels like your energy this week, slowly but steadily working towards, you have all the resources that you need to bring abundance, growth, security, um, stability back into your life. And the Empress is a definite energy of the birth of something new. So again, this energy of new beginnings, the birth of something new, can be in terms of money and career, can be in other areas of your life. She's very much about relationships, love relationships, or money and career. She does both. So again, that's what this Queen of Pentacles is. I mean, this can be healing, but it can be you. Uh, being back in your power, being back in your element, opening a new beginning, opening a new door. But I, I definitely feel for some of you that there could also be a powerful woman um, who is of influence this week for you. But it definitely feels that there is some out of the old in with a new coming. But a level of patience is needed. Okay, so you are on track. You are on the right path. Keep going. So final message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, final message for Virgo. Thank you. Yeah, we have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. Very nice energy. It, it feels this lack of clarity. You will get the clarity. And that's what I'm seeing with that. Um, everything will become clear. You know? So the message is just keep on focusing, staying on track to the path that you're on because it's the right path for you and it will end with blessings, wish fulfillment. Um, it's a lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.